I say again and again, as we speak in this moment, people are dying in hell, burning, burning in fire of hell. I am in heaven right now. Heaven is not a future event. Heaven is right now. The only thing limits that limits us from from fully capturing yes, fully capturing that perceiving that eternal reality is the flesh. You know when I'm going to be in heaven? Uh, I'm going to tell you exactly when I'm going to be in heaven. Tell me when. Let's go get that stuff that I want. I gotta get the food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Take them out and then you'll love it. <laughs> Absolutely. God bless you. Yeah. Stay strong in the Lord. I don't mean to break y'all up for that. No, you're right. I'll just make a comedy routine. I know. All right. Yes, what do you want? Oh, God. Uh, yeah. As soon as that call, you say, Oh, God. Yeah. You want to say, Oh, God. Yeah. You want to say, Oh, God. Your beauty cannot send you into heaven. Come on. Being young cannot send you into heaven. Being the president of America cannot send you into heaven. Yeah. But your true young repentance and getting to know God daily, you will get into the kingdom. Today I'm telling you, men and women out there, that the, the Lord is soon coming. The Lord is soon coming. He's coming like a thunder. One day he will burst the cloud and take his chosen vessel. Yeah. When he comes, he will take us and carry us through with him. After that, the devil will have his seat on this earth. The devil will have his pleasure on this earth because the Spirit of God will leave this earth. The Spirit of God will leave this earth. Salvation is free. Salvation is for you, the red skin man. And salvation is for you, for the black skin man. Salvation is for all. Don't wait and it's still too late to repent. God is calling you. Some of you all, when you go at your home, your home is a jungle. Your home is a jail. People see you happy at times, but as soon as you go behind them doors, it's all hell breaks loose. Yeah. Because God wants your divine attention. God wants your attention that He will turn your husband against you. He will turn your wife against you because He's calling you. Calling. When God calling you, He don't care who you are. God is no respecter of no one because He is the Creator of all things. God is the creator of all things. He is the God that can change a bad man to be a son of God. God can change a bad woman to be a, a, a daughter of God. Why don't you come back today to the land of the living? Right now you in the, in the, in the land of the dead. You walk in spiritually dead. You walk in with uh, the spirit of pride in you. Uh, that contaminant in uh, that soul which is you inside. Yeah. Why don't you say yes to Jesus today? Say yes. He is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only way. Not Buddha. Not Mohammed. Not Confucius. Not the Lord of God. They was here before, but when Jesus came, He made that flash and He transformed us. He gave us a second chance. Jesus is calling you today. Jesus is calling you. In the name of Jesus, every demon spirit trembles. In the name of Jesus, all spirit trembles. Yes, they come out of the hiding place. They can love beautiful bodies. They can love to live with beautiful women and beautiful men. Because why? They love themselves. 
We see your love yourself. I am beautiful. I am sexy. I am perfect and fine. It's easier to get into you. Satan is a wicked man and wicked bird. Whatever he is, he's a familiar spirit. Yes, he comes to divide and conquer. Satan come out here to divide and conquer. But I'm telling you today to say yes to Jesus Christ. When you say yes to Jesus Christ, you get that protection shield. He protects you from inside out. Call the name of Jesus Christ today. He's not going to let you down. It's never too late to call Jesus. No, you're still alive. You are alive. You are still alive. Call upon the name of Jesus and you shall be saved. What a loving God we serve. Yeah. What a broken God. You know, sometimes there is a hospital right there. And there is people that are laying in the hospital. Some people dying. Some people asking God to help them, to save them, to take away the pain. And as soon as you call upon the name of Jesus Christ, God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, your pain is gone. Your pain is gone. And today I'm telling you, if you call upon the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. Call upon Jesus and you shall be saved. Yeah. There is no other God. No other God can save you. But Jesus, we must understand that life is like a rose. Today you're here, and tomorrow somebody says, You know who died? And then they say, But that was a very young man, or that was a very young woman. They have no respect of those that God called back home. Just get to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior yeah. before you kick the bucket. <laughs> before you kick the bucket, get to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. But when death is real, yeah. death is real. There was a storm in Florida and so many people died. This morning, early this morning, I turn on my television and I see 40 people died in the flood in Florida. 40 people is a lot of people. A lot of families may well miss their loved ones. But today you are alive. God gives you a second chance to walk through foggy bottom. God gives you a chance to hear the evangelist preaching. To hear the sons of God preaching. Today God is giving you a second chance because you're still alive. Why don't you come back home this afternoon? Why don't you say yes to Jesus Christ? Say, Lord. I recognize I am a sinner. And I know, I know that you are my Savior. Lord Jesus, you are the only God that went down in the grave and come back victorious. Please forgive me, Lord, of all my sins. Yes. And take me back, Lord. I need a Savior. I need a Savior. God will take you back. Today, I can tell you, today is a good day to serve the Lord in trembling and love. Serve the Lord today, brethren, before it's too late. Yeah. Amen. I know.
Let me get a cookie in. Hey, Amen. Thank you, my sister, for that fiery sermon. Amen. We got to cut it short because our battery is dying on the charger. I mean, on the speaker. But uh, let me reiterate on what you said. Come to Jesus now while you still have a chance because the day is going to come where you're not going to have any grace whatsoever to come to the Lord because it's going to be too late because our probation has ended on this planet.